I think Coolsville sucks. What you call an icon living? Try to make a little mistress, just did it. I love you for five minutes. Oh, we are too hot in the place. Hi guys, it's Mayana and today I'm going to be doing the Nevermind book tag and since I'm too lazy to hold the books, I'm just going to insert pictures but I seen Jess from formerly Jess Reads Books now Jess Nevertheless, which I mean I love the new channel name but she just did this tag and she didn't necessarily tag me but I saw her do it so I wanted to do it and now I did it, I'm coming to you guys with another euphoria look somebody came at me in my curious cat and said i've been pronouncing it wrong which i knew that i just didn't care but i just don't like the way euphoria sounds i mean i know it's how you say it but i don't like the way it sounds so i'm going to continue saying euphoria because i like that better so yeah we're just going to get into the questions so the first question is a book you rated high have now changed your mind about and or a book you've rated low and changed your mind about so for this one, I would say The Gilded Wolves and A Curse of Dark and Lonely. I gave The Gilded Wolves five out of five stars, but the more I sat and thought about it, I thought about how there were some things in this book that weren't fully planned out and things that I didn't really like about the book. So I changed it to four, from um, five stars to four. And then for A Curse of Dark and Lonely, this book was originally five stars, but I changed it down to three because I just thought about how, like I didn't mind how the book was slow paced, but I just thought, Thinking back on it, the book was boring. Like, it kept me, in, it's, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not making any sense. Like, it kept me intrigued when I was reading it. But the more I think about it, the more I realize it was boring. So, yeah. Question number two. A book you bought because of the cover but night, my, might not read? It's sad to say that is Muse of Nightmares. I love Stranger Dreamer, but I don't know if I'll get to Muse of Nightmares anytime soon. Like it was such a long book and the plot didn't really kick in until 70% into the book. And I know a lot of people who didn't like Stranger Dreamer as much really loved Muse of Nightmares, but I'm just gonna have to give that book a reread because I don't remember anything that happened in it, to be honest. So that's mainly why I probably won't be getting to it. It's not that I'm not gonna be reading it, but I just won't be getting to it for a while. Question number three. A book you constantly put on your TBR but can't seem to get to. And for me, that would be Nevernight. I have had Nevernight on all of my TBRs since I got the book in November last year. Especially the past three months. Like, usually Nevernight is, like, usually Nevernight has not been on my TBR. But for the past three months, it has been because I've been trying to pair, prepare for Dark Dawn. But hopefully I get to it this month. I was actually supposed to read it Friday and then read God's Grave Monday and then read Dark Dawn Tuesday. But... Um, I can't really afford Dark Dawn anyway, so I'm just going to wait to read it. But yeah, Dark Dawn is that book. A hype book you aren't sure you're interested in. If this one, before when I was planning for this tag, I was going to say A House of Salt and Sorrow. But everyone keeps talking about this book and everyone has it up. And my best friend Jake from Jake Does Books, he really wants me to get this book. I don't know if he's read it already, but he really wants me to get this book. So... At first, I had no intentions on reading it because it was about like the 12 dancing princesses and I never really cared about that story and I'm not really a Barbie kind of girl so I didn't really know if I wanted to read it or not but everyone keeps hyping it up so I think I'm going to give it a chance. I don't know. Every, literally everyone and their mom loves it so I'm just going to give this book a chance. A book you DNF'd and for this one I'm gonna have to say Wilder Girls. I DNF'd this book. I got 50 pages of this book and it wasn't really interesting to me. I really want to read it because Books and Lala has been hyping this up on her channel and of course I stay in Books and Lala so you know I had to like pick it up for her but I got 50 pages and it wasn't I can't say it was born because it was only 50 pages in but Though Books on Wild I raved about it, a lot of other people I trust literally like said it wasn't good. A lot of people gave it three stars. I watched a live stream where everybody in a live stream except one person gave it three stars and it was like four people in that live stream. And I'm a very critical person and like Jake gave it three stars. And me and Jake, me and Jake don't agree when we rate books like that we really, really liked. But when we dislike books, like if Jake dislikes a book, I'll dislike it if that makes sense. Like there, we both read the, like we, there could be a book that we both read that like we liked, but he just liked it more than me. But if he doesn't like a book, then nine times out of 10, I'm not going to like it either. So I kind of just, I did not it because it got so many bad reviews. A lot of people said it had no plot. So y'all already know I was out. Um, 
you know a lot of people said the relationship wasn't really developed well so like i said out um maybe i'll give it a chance who knows but as of now it is dnf'd the next question is a book you were loving until the end that made you think twice about it or a book you weren't sure you liked until the ending was epic and now will have to be the book that i wasn't sure i was gonna like until the ending was a woman in the window well the woman in the window i really really liked this book no i didn't like this book i really was like reading this book i was like hmm this is boring but then the book hit me with a plot twist and i was like okay and then it hit me with another plot twist in the end i just love like being thrown off with books and being like what you know like i just love that and yeah so the next question was a series you were loving and decided not to continue or a series you weren't sure about and now you want to continue and for this one i have to be thrown a glass as you guys may know i read assassin's blade did not care about it thrown of glass crown of midnight gave it three stars hair fire air i mean air fire gave it two stars crown of midnight what queen of shadows gave it five stars absolutely love queen of shadows one of my this is my favorite books in the series so far i haven't really finished it yet but thinking about this book really pushing me to read it because i was like you know what if queen of shadows is not good i'm just gonna give it an end because i clearly don't know when to stop which is crazy because i'll do enough of books so fast but if i'm reading a series I, like and i've already invested like two books into it i'm literally just gonna keep reading it just to read it but luckily this book was good because if it wasn't i would have just stopped like then i'll be like tower of dawn is my favorite series but i was not willing to read into tower dawn for this series the next question is a genre you used to like but now you don't read or a genre you used to not read but now you love and for this one it would have to be romance mainly adult and new adult it's not that i used to love it i used to have this idea about new adult where like all they do is go to college and it's very smutty and that's all they care about and they don't develop their relationships and the covers were ugly which i mean kind of is true but there's so much more to new adult than just them being in college or them like i just don't romance in general like i just had this assumption that it was just really really smutty and at first i really wasn't into that but now y'all know i'm trash for it like i don't even care but they're all just so good and so many have been coming out recently and i've gotten so many arcs and romance i am such a romance landia stan now like call me part of the team because i am absolutely trash for romance like it is so good if you don't read romance you're kind of missing out like i understand i understand but like if you are like if you are into like rom-coms and you don't read romance adult romance because it's actually really really good but yeah um there is a genre that i like but i don't read a lot of and now i have to be thriller just because a lot of the thrillers that i read aren't that interesting like they're good but once i read them they have good premises but once i read them they kind of let me down so i don't really read a lot of thrillers like that but i i am trying to get more into thrillers because i love horror movies like we all know i'm a horror movie stan and the last question is a character you change your mind about either good or bad and for this one it would have to be alien from the throne of glass series which is ironic when i first met alien i did not care about her um yeah i really didn't care about her but the more i read her queen of shadows is really really hooked me like it really focused on alien and her character development alien 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 i cannot say her name anyways yeah it really focused on her and her color development which i really really liked and i really appreciated and i love my fire breathing bitch queen okay like i literally want that tattooed on my forehead and i just really really love queen of shadows and i love alien such a such a good book it's so weird because i thought that i was gonna be a manon stan but here we are standing a like i really thought i was gonna be a manon stan but i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i skipped Minaj's chapters um when she showed up in whatever book she showed up i can't even tell you because i kept skipping her chapters like i literally was skipping her chapters and i mean it was just i just not stand her as much as i thought i would and hopefully later on in the series i actually do like things turn around and i do stand her but as of now i don't really care about her and alien is my queen she is my bae she is my boo but yeah that's it for this video please like comment and subscribe my social medias are always in the description box so make sure you check that out 
and comment below and let me guys know what you think like what books did you dnf like answer some of the questions down below like feel free to i love replying in my comments and i love having conversations with you guys so <laughs> All the spaceship, I'm a space cadet. Big white bitch in my habitat. Ain't right as